everyone. A very good morning to everyone present here. I hope you all are doing great and staying healthy. My name is Divyanshi Kapoor and I'll be your host for this session. I wholeheartedly invite you all today to an amazing speaker session at Hack CBS 4.0. Proceeding with the tradition of our seniors with much dignity and confidence, we take the lead to arrange the fourth version of Hack CBS, which is India's biggest student run hackathon. Utilizing the advanced time zone this year at Hack CPS 4.0, we will have lots of speaker sessions consistently. To know the nitty gritty timetable, you can even look at our website that is hackcps.tech. Along these lines, we desire to make these sessions a noteworthy and sagacious experience for all of you. So let us start with our much anticipated session. Now talking about today's session, this session will cover in detail knowledge of how you can build a smart camera using tensorflow.js with that said let me introduce you to the speaker of this session vincent coke hi hello vincent hi so let me introduce you to vincent vincent is yeah. a tensorflow.js community advocate and stem ai robotics specialist he is actively involved with the developers community also attended numerous maker fair around the world. In his free time, he designs electronic hardware kits and organizes basic Arduino Raspberry Pi related classes for beginners. We invite you, Vincent, and anticipate your discussion. The virtual stage is all yours. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. So yeah, for today we'll be going to show you how are we going to build a smart camera using the TensorFlow JS. So. Yeah, I guess uh, let me have a look at the chat. So I guess uh, there's about 16 of people right here. So, all right. So I guess I can just get started, right? Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay, share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen right now? All right, I guess you can see my screen. Yes, yes, Vincent, the screen is visible. Yep, let, uh, let me just get started. Okay. okay, so good afternoon, everyone. So, I'm Vincent here. So today we'll be going through this uh, step by step. How do you build a, a smart camera using the TensorFlow JS machine learning model? Okay, so this this is a, a hands on session. So it's not just uh, listening to me talking and so on. So if you would like, you can just follow through the uh, session. So you, at the end, you'll be able to build a smart camera yeah, so that you are able to uh, navigate and then uh, maybe do some uh, object detection as well. Okay, so you can follow along with me during this session. So I will be showing you how you can uh, get started easily. All right, so I will be getting step by step. So if you have any questions, you, so you can ask in the chat so that I can uh, attend to it or maybe slow down and so on. Yeah. Okay, so I'm the TensorFlow.js Community Advocate and also the STEM AI Robotics Specialist. So feel free to connect with me in LinkedIn as well. So you can uh, use this link here to connect with me. So if uh, any things that we can discuss and learn together. So for, to, uh, for this session, uh, make the main material for this uh, session will be from this codelab.developers.google.com. So yeah, so for right now, uh, you can just uh, listen to me first. Then after that, we'll be going on uh, together. Yeah. Okay, so, so this is from here. So, and then we need to search for tensorflow.js. And finally, you'll be able to uh, find this make a smart webcam in JavaScript with a tensorflow.js, uh, this uh, tutorial. Okay, so then this is uh, actually a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can actually follow through so in case you are not able to follow through during this session you are you are okay to just uh, browse through this again and again to uh, as your study reference yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, maybe before I go on, let, let's try to go for this. Right, so Okay, so right now, what, what you need to do is that you can go to Google and search for the code lab. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the code lab. Right, so yep, this is the code lab that we will be going through that you can uh, learn every anything. So yeah, I, I guess it's uh, sharing. So uh, I will I will just give you some time to uh, get into this. So maybe I will just put this onto the chat as well so that you can just directly click on this. Okay, I have shared the link direct link to the uh, to the chat, so you can click on it and uh, save this link. So because it will be very useful for you as a as a base start. How do you make your webcam smarter? Right. Okay, so it's a step by step, and what is TensorFlow.js? So all this I will be going through in a while. So stay tuned with me. So how do you get set up then how do you really uh, code some of these uh, items okay All right let's go back to the slides okay let me go back to the slides Sorry. Okay, so assuming that you are in there already in the code lab, so this is what you should uh, see. Make a smart webcam in JavaScript. So what will we be making in this workshop? We'll be basically making a object detection, multi-object detection for your images or even a video. Yeah. All right, so, and with a little bit of creativity and combining with some of the existing web development knowledge that you have, you can actually use this knowledge to bring any creative idea to life. So like this pet cam for when you are out, so there's uh, they detected there's a pet, then they will send the alerts to the admin, right? So it's uh, as simple as that. So it's just doing some object detection and then some alert. Okay, so let's get started. So before we you begin, so we open the step one of the code lab. And basically, this is what you'll be doing. So we will build a web page and use a machine learning in browser via TensorFlow.js to class, classify common object. So using the Coco SSD model and draw bounding box for each detected object and with this to do this so you will learn how to load a pre-trained tensorflow.js model and how to grab the data from a live webcam stream and once after you grab the data you'll need to classify the image frame so whether is it a person is it a head so on and then how to highlight the found object with the bounding box in real time all right so i hope you are excited for this so let's get started so maybe uh yeah th this is in the code lab step two so what is tensorflow.js so it's actually an open source machine learning library that runs anywhere javascript can run yeah so any browser so in your phone on your laptop or anywhere that you can run for the javascript and you can run retrain and write your own models. So three, three ways that you can use it. So reuse some of the existing model. So such as the 
object detection model or face detection model. And also you can retrain existing model using transfer learning. And even if you are more advanced user, you can write models in JavaScript. Just write it from the scratch. Hey, so uh, why, why is this uh, machine learning in JavaScript uh, so popular or so uh, convenient is that it can run on browser itself. So all the Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, or even in the server side using Node.js. Mobile, you can use it with the React Native. And also even for the desktop, you can use Electron. And finally, it can also run on IoT devices such as Raspberry Pi, Jetson Nano, via Node. And with, with this say, so client side is actually, uh, there's some benefit of running uh, this machine learning on the client side. So basically machine learning in the browser means that high privacy, lower latency, and reach and scale of the web so that you can just share the link to anyone easily and lower serving costs because you do not need a server, right? So that's the client side superpower. So that's uh, the high privacy because everything is on the on uh, on the client side. Yeah. So pre-trained model. So for this, you can uh, refer to the CodeLab step three. So hopefully, you are opening up the CodeLab as well as uh, listening to to my talk right here. So you can. So right now we have these pre-trained models. So we will be using the first method, which is the pre-trained model, to do our hands-on today. So pre-made models, basically they have quite a lot of pre-made models. So pre-made model means they already uh, trained on a large data set by Google, right? So like vision, object detection, human body, text, sound, and others. So of course, more and more models will be add on. So you, you, can, you can train your own model. The, the only problem is that you need a lot of data, which might not be accessible for you as an individual. So that's why I need the help from the companies like Google. They have access to a huge data to really train out all these kind of uh, models. So you can uh, browse this tensorflow.org, JS and models to check out more of the pre-trained models. So pre-made benefits, of course, first is you no need to gather training data yourself. Rapid prototyping with lower cost and use the state of the art research so whatever that is already of that latest technology and easier to use and good documentation and finally transfer learning for some models transfer learning is more like if you wanted to train it for your own models yeah all right so this is one of the one uh, the model that we'll be using uh, for our workshop today so object recognition using coco ssd train on 90 object classes Okay, so it can recognize the dot or even uh yeah it's, it's in in a frame it can recognize multiple objects so this is another one face mesh so it's a, a pre-made model as well so that you can directly use the face mesh on the browser itself without installing anything yeah so that's where you can see this this is a, a real use case where l'oreal actually i think they use it for the uh, I think for some of the makeup for that and body segmentation as well. So one of the pre-made model is the body segmentation. So you can eventually distinguish 24 body areas. So across multiple bodies. So it's not just one body. So multiple bodies and in real time. Right. So I think you could think of some of the application of this body segmentation. So maybe for like a gym, push up, counting all that. Right. So, and all this can run on the browser itself. All right, so what is Coco SSD? More about Coco SSD for our workshop today. It's the name of a pre-trained object detection machine learning model that you will use during this collab. And also it's aimed to localize and identify multiple objects in a single image. Okay, in a single image, so it can recognize multiple objects. And also, it's actually trained on the common object in context data set and using the single shot detection architecture. Yeah, so this is just some uh, understanding about the Coco SSD. So, right now, we'll be starting to use it. So, let's get set up. So, this is in the Colab step four. 
So you can have a look at the step four right now. So what, what is the step four about? So basically in the step four, they mentioned that you need to go to the glitch.com. Okay. So let's, let's uh, for, for you that, uh, for some of you that following through this workshop, so you can open up the glitch.com. So, and this is a web, web server that will be hosting your website as well. Yeah. And then you can either log in or sign up. If you don't have any account, you can just sign up first. Okay, so I will give you some time to do that so you can sign up. And, or even if you have a account already, you can log in. Okay. All right, maybe before I go on, maybe just give you some time to go into this glitch.com and then uh, sign up or log in with the account. Yep. All right, so if any any uh, issue with this uh, glitch.com, yeah, let, let me know so that I can uh, share answer for you. Yeah, basically, uh, there, are, there are actually no prerequisite before starting making project using TensorFlow.js yeah, because it's uh, pretty uh, straightforward, which, which we'll be going through uh, today. So uh, yeah, but of course, the uh, basic prerequisite will be like, you might need to have some understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yeah, If not, then you can learn from some of the existing uh, project that uh, someone else uh, already did. Then you can modify accordingly for your own uh, needs yeah okay so i think yeah by following through the workshop today i i think you uh, you will be equipped with some of the prerequisites as well all right so glitch.com so log in or sign up so if you have done for some of you that follow through you can just let me know that you are done so that i can proceed Okay, so let me check the chat. Oh yeah, the so uh can you refer some report on GitHub where I can learn and see a TensorFlow JS project? Yes. So at the end of this workshop, I will be uh I will be showing you some of the resources how you can go further from this workshop. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. All right, so most of you say done. Okay, so right now I think let's, let's continue. All right, let's continue about it. So once, once you are done, so you can, so you, you should see a search button, uh, or maybe a search icon at the top, right? So you click on the search icon and then uh, search for the TensorFlow.js boiler plate. Okay, search for the TensorFlow.js boilerplate and you should see something like this here, which is highlighted for you. Okay, so yeah, so you can uh, go along as well so that you can see this uh, TensorFlow.js boilerplate right here that I'm actually uh, highlighting right now. Okay, so search for TensorFlow.js boilerplate. All right, so if you have done that, search for that. So what you can do is go to the next, which is you see this button called remix this. Okay, so remix this means to make, make this project uh, your own copy, basically. Right. So you can uh, click on this uh, remix this. Okay, so that you make some modification based on that. Okay, because uh, we are not just going to do this uh, TensorFlow.js Hello World, we'll be doing going beyond that, okay, by making an object detection uh, machine learning model. Yeah. Okay, so then this is what you should see. Yeah, you should now have a copy like this. Yeah.
Okay, so you should now have a copy where you can see the index.html, script.js, style.css. So which are the three main components involved when you are designing a website or web page. Okay, hope most of you are able to be here. So uh, make sure, I, I don't think there will be any issue to uh, come into here. So remember it's a TensorFlow JS boilerplate project. Um, as for the question, are there an alternative to TensorFlow JS? Uh, as far as I know, uh, there is uh, probably none. There, there is quite a lot of different uh, machine learning uh, framework out there. But uh, as far as I know, it's uh, yeah, mainly uh, it's a TensorFlow JS, which actually can scale from uh, TensorFlow Lite, TensorFlow JS, and also even TensorFlow for the Python. Yeah, so it can scale uh, scale towards uh, different devices as well. Yeah. All right, so I guess you are uh, here. So yeah, if you are not able to follow it or or what, so you can uh, just uh, comment. Uh, in the chat or you can have a look at the collab yeah. all right so step five so populate the html skeleton so that's the first step or even i mean in the collab is step five but it's the first step for our web page okay so open step five of collab and then copy copy the code over index.html so that's the code for index.html so we can copy it over. So right now, I will be roughly explaining about the HTML. So if you can see here, so this is the standard format of the HTML, right? where you have the definition of the HTML and then the language and also the title of your tab. Multiple object detection using pre-trained model in TensorFlow.js. And then import the web page style sheet. So which is the style CSS that we see just now. And then right now, this is just in the head body. And then after that, we'll be going on with the body. So uh, body, so body is the main uh, code section. So this is what you should, uh, you'll be adding in. Hold some object up close to your webcam to get a real time classification and so on. So this is just some text to be showing up in the website. And then some of the uh, ID for the live view and webcam buttons. So later on, you'll be having a buttons to uh, enable the webcam. And uh, finally, right here is a script where we'll import the TensorFlow.js library and also load the Coco SSD model to use to recognize things in images. Yeah. All right, so that, that is for the HTML. So, so what are you going to do? So maybe let, let me go through my uh, my project here as well. So let's see, let me just go on. Okay, so I will share my screen again with the code lab. All right, so I guess you are in this uh, glitch. Okay, so once you are in here, so uh, as mentioned, we search for TensorFlow.js. .js. Okay, so perhaps we will just uh, let, let, let's search for it. There's a project .js boilerplate. If there's any. Yep, so you can uh, click on the TensorFlow.js and then TensorFlow.js boilerplate. Okay, 
So this is the one TensorFlow JS boilerplate. And then, yep, so scrolling down, you will see this uh, remix your own. Okay, so. All right, then it will load up for you the, the items right there. Okay, so this is the one that you should get in that stuff HTML, script.js, and style.css. Okay, so right now we'll be going through the code lab, so step five, and copy all the index.html uh, code over. Okay, so wait, uh, let me let me reshare my screen. Okay, so yeah, I, I guess probably this might, be, this might be easier. Okay, so yeah, so you should see this uh, in the code app. So what you need to do is to copy over the entire thing. Okay, so copy this and then move on to your glitch.com and then paste it this okay so one thing good about this uh, glitch.com is that you can see the real-time preview on the left okay so you can see that this is a new interface for your website yeah. all right so let's move on to the next. Okay, so once we copy the HTML. So this is what you should get as expected. So next is we are going to add some style. Okay, so we are going to add some style into the our website. So copy the code to style.css. Okay, see step six of collab. Okay, see step six of collab, and then we'll be copy over the, the style.css. Okay, step six. Okay, so let's copy it one by one. this and then go to the style.css okay, you can just uh, replace everything okay or uh, yeah so co just copy this entire thing all right so with this with this copy you should actually see that uh, your website will have some changes right so that you will be like like this yeah. okay so let, let's see yeah so you can see my preview right here so if you like the preview to be in the new window you can move on to this show right here so we can preview your app in a new window or next to the code. So it's up to your own preference. So you can open up in a new window as well to see the live as well. Yeah. Okay, so I guess there's some issue right here. So maybe I'll copy my index.html again. Okay. Up to here. 
and control A and V. Yep. So I guess uh, it should be better right now. We are the things down there. Yeah. Okay, so you can see it's a live preview. All right, so for the style CSS, I will not be explaining much for now. So the final thing is creating a JavaScript skeleton. Okay, we are going to do a JavaScript uh, code. So if let's say in any case that you have some errors in the console for the glitch.com, so don't worry about it. So let's copy the code over the script.js. But before we do that, let me just roughly explain it. So basically, yeah, so this is just referencing some of the key DOM element. Okay, so it's just a bunch of like a constant. So to uh, refer back to the one that in the HTML. So get element by ID is basically referring to the HTML file that we are trying to do. And then next is basically they check if webcam access is supported. Okay, on the browser. So just a support uh, chat right there. And also the after that, if webcam is supported, then they will see whether the button is it clicked. So once the button is clicked, then it will eventually uh, start the streaming. And then, yeah, they will check if, uh, if the model is loaded, then it will enable the cam. Yeah, so and then also hide the button once it's clicked. So I guess the code is well commented. So I hope you can uh, get some understanding from the code as well. And after that, the button is clicked to so activate the webcam stream with this uh, function right here. And after that, so we are preparing for step eight. Okay, so it's preparing, so it's not doing step eight yet. So it's just a placeholder function for next step. So where we have the predict webcam function right here. And for right now, we just uh, make the model as a true first. Okay, so pretended that the model has loaded. Okay, for right now, we don't have any model yet. All right, so this is what you should get after you are uh, completing the uh, skeleton of the JavaScript. Okay, no any detection yet. Okay, do not have any detection yet. Okay, so it's just a video stream of uh, yourself. Okay, so let, let's try that out. So what we'll be going to do is that it's a step seven, create JavaScript skeleton. Okay, so there's a tips right here. So take note of it as well. And right now, so what you need to do is let's copy it one by one. Okay, over to the script.js. So what you can do is just replace it. Okay, so one by one. So underneath, under the another line. Okay, so be careful while copying as well. So then the, this is fetching the webcam string. Okay, so we just copy this over. And finally add some temporary code so you can test if the webcam is working. Yeah. So that's where this is the one that we not loading, not loading the Coco SSD yet, but we are trying to make sure that the webcam is working first, okay? So if you see on the right hand side here, it will directly be enabled because the model is loaded. So what you can do is directly enable the webcam. So click on the enable webcam. And then, yeah, so you are able to see this. Okay, so right now this is just a just a streaming okay so without any of the detection yet all right so this is what you can see all right so let's uh, go on first okay so this is what you should see yeah multiple object detection and then there with your video stream so make sure that you are able to uh, do till that so that we are getting the stream from our webcam yeah Okay, maybe I'll just uh, 
stop here for a while so just to make sure that uh, people are okay so if some of you are following if let's say any of you are not uh, able to follow along so you can uh, just try it out Well, there's one question, how much knowledge of JS is required to start TensorFlow.js? So I would say it's uh, maybe the basic uh, knowledge, like the data types and then some some functions, if else, all that, right? So like how, how is it coded in the JavaScript? That I think will be sufficient. Then, of course, then while you learn along the TensorFlow.js, you know more about the syntax and how to use it. And the one that I'm showing uh, showing you right here is more on the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But if you are a Python developer, you can actually convert the Python's um, uh, TensorFlow model as well to be used in the TensorFlow.js as well. There's some other uh, uh, guides out there as well. All right, so everyone able to follow up to step seven. So basically, we are left with the last step to do the object detection. Okay, so if you are able to do it, so uh, uh, let me know. Okay, I will just give another like one minute so that you are able to uh, get the output like this yeah. so this is streaming from your webcam yeah. so i need to make sure that your webcams are okay yeah. so i guess uh, you are uh, joining this uh, from the youtube so you are not be using any uh, webcam as well so you should have your built-in webcam uh, ready All right, anyone done so far that you can uh, able to get the stream of the webcam? Yeah, yeah, uh, for the resources, I will recommend it at the end of the uh, session. So no worries about it. All right, so uh, yeah, I saw Ethan done. Okay, uh, done. Okay, good. So you are able to do that. So not too hard, right? All right. So let's move on to the the subsequent step. Okay. So finally, we also need to copy some of this. Uh, uh, I think there's one last last code that we need to copy is this. Uh, to load the Coco SSD. So basically, you can see we need to load the Coco SSD model. Then after that, we will do the prediction. Okay, so you can see this is where the function predict webcam is is been uh, doing. So it's from your video stream. So it, then it will load the prediction, and then it will uh, move on to uh, remove any highlighting we did previous frame. Okay, so this is about the bounding box. So basically the concept of the bounding box where the height and the width and also that, that they need to know the coordinate of S -Y, S, Y and width and height. So where you can draw it into the frame of the video. Okay, so this is about the uh, bounding box drawing the code. And then finally, this is what you should get. Okay after uh, copy the, the subsequent of the step eight, yeah. Okay, so eventually, if you can see here, only three lines of code for the ML. 
rest was for drawing and browser chat right so you can see here that's like loading the coco ssd and then predict webcam model dot detect right it's just a three line of code okay so let's go over to the code lab so go to the step eight Okay, so for the step eight, basically, so let, let's compare back to here. So we have it until function predict webcam. So if you see here, the predict webcam is empty. Okay, so what you can do right here is, yeah, before the predict webcam, we first copy this. Let's copy this first, the model. Okay, so yeah. Okay, and then after that, you will copy this wild children. Yep, and one thing to take note is this function pretty webcam which uh, previously we had. So that's why we just replace the content in it. If you just want to copy the entire thing, it's fine. But you make sure that you remove the preview webcam uh, function on the top. Okay, so let's say, uh, let's assume that I copy the entire thing. And then before I paste it, I remove this preview webcam. Okay, then I will just copy it, I will paste it. I will just paste it underneath here. All right, so with that, with that uh, being uh, copied over, so what we will need to do is, if you open up the demo. Okay, so I guess it's a loading the model, so let's wait for a while. Is this okay? Then the... Let's see if there's anything that we do normally. So enable cam. Oh, it's already been declared. So let's see. Let's look this. Okay, so let's see if we copy everything correctly. Okay, so if anything goes wrong, so just check check at the collab. So model undefined. So I guess it's probably is uh, yeah, maybe I will just need to remove this. Uh, I think that's uh, two two one. Uh, so I will just remove this one model equal to two. So and put about ten. Okay, so show it in the new windows right i guess there's uh 
something is going on with the code. So let's uh, kind of uh, check it. So what we'll do is I will copy from the step server again. So what I will do is I will copy this entire thing again. enable the webcam oh enable webcam is there oh okay maybe i will just delete this because there's a replication okay and then i will go to final one webcam Okay, so let's uh, try this if let's say is it uh, fine uh, yeah this one is okay so you can enable the webcam so we are make sure that the basic is done so right now what we need to do is going back to here and go on to the right so when we so yeah so we we'll now need to do this again and make sure we down here then can copy this entire thing again. Going down to here, and then remove the pretty webcam. That's why it complains for the error. So this as well, even though it's a comment. Okay, so right now. So Coco SSD, I think we loaded the Coco SSD right here. And script.js. Let's see what's the error here. Let's see it's not defined. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let me look wow my project okay so yeah, i have it done this early on so let, let's try to check this Okay, so I think it's loading up the model, so that's why it's uh, invisible right here. I guess my PC is a bit slow. So. Okay, let me close some of the windows. Okay. Open this up in the new window. Okay, so let, let's try it out. So if, if it's okay, then we'll uh, move on then to show you some of the resources that you are able to go beyond from here. Okay, so 
let's wait for the model to load so sometimes it will be uh, taking some time to load depending on your internet uh, speed as well okay and also the process of your pc Yeah, perhaps while it's uh, waiting for it to load, let, let's see what is the intended outcome for this uh, code, for this uh, session. So what you will see is that you'll, a able to, you'll be able to get the uh, stream and also it will able to detect that this is a person or even it's a bottle or even some of the common object. Yeah. Okay, so... So it's still not loading. Let me close this again and uh, reload. Okay, hopefully it works this time. Wow. Okay, so far, uh, maybe while waiting, some of these, do you all have uh, any questions? We load the model right here and then Okay, maybe uh, yeah, can just anyone just try it out from your side whether this uh, link is working for you. Yep. So that's the beauty of this uh, TensorFlow JS where I can just directly share with you the link. Then you can try it out my my code. Yeah. Okay, and then you can see whether you can detect the things or not. Yeah. Perhaps probably it's my uh, PC right here. So I guess let me see if I can enable it. Oh yeah, it's finally okay. So if you can see there's a person. Okay. So if I move around, so there's a person. And if I'm going to take this, let's see, is it recognized as a bottle? Oh yeah, I think you, you saw that it is kind of like a Person, see recognize so it's in real time. Okay. So bottle, bottle with the confidence level, or maybe even some others uh, funny name, right? So depending on how how well it's been trained. So carrot, huh? it's, it's look like a carrot. So it's bottle, yeah. And then there's a person, yep. So basically, this is uh 
uh, the demo so that you can uh, you, you are able to run it uh, yourself there so if, if you are able to recognize anything so feel free to share with the uh, image so i guess in the uh, youtube here maybe you are hard to share but if you just upload it to somewhere and then just share with me right so i would like to see what what kind of things that you have done with that right yeah so Yep, so congrats so for some of you are able to do that so maybe let, let me just talk a bit on like some of the what, what is the next thing that you can uh, do with this uh, knowledge that you have learned right so we have learned about the benefits of using tensorflow js and pre-made uh, ml models and created a fully working web page to classify common object in real time okay using your webcam so that these are the steps that we went through creating a web html adding the style and also detecting and enabling webcam and also the load the pre-trained tensorflow js model so for this method is uh you can use it uh, with the same if let's say using some other models right like face detection on others so next step is think about how to extend this for something useful in your life so like just now we share about the uh smart pet cam uh the project or maybe you can also uh, try more tensorflow js collect on colette.developer.google.com and one one important thing is that when you are sharing so make sure that you are using the hashtag made with tensorflow js so that the working group are able to detect uh, or maybe to uh, locate your project and features your project right yeah okay so and then this is a uh, oh yeah this is another one teachable machine so for you to do transfer learning if let's say the model that's in being trained is not accurate enough but you wanted to train on your own uh, data set so you can explore this uh, teachable machine and yeah this this is also another great tutorial i guess it's a real-time ai gesture recognition so with tensorflow js plus react js with the finger pose uh, model yeah. okay and also this is about the build an animal object tracking camera app with tensorflow js okay and then uh, yeah you can check check it out so you can take a screenshot of this or maybe even re revisit this uh, uh, video again and also uh, this is uh, more code labs so like in the tensorflow js transfer learning image classifier so it will take about like uh, one hour or so to complete this as well and finally i would like to show you this uh one workshop that i did is autonomous vehicle workshop it's actually using kind of like tensorflow js as well right so it's a uh it's a kind of uh i'm using the teachable machine so to train to recognize the road sign where it's left or right so it turns accordingly so it's a combination how you can integrate the knowledge that you learn tensorflow js with a robotic system so not just on the software side so hopefully this might be helpful for your hackathons or whatever to create some hardware solution so with that uh, i think that's the end of my presentation for today so uh, yeah so you can uh, at, uh, follow me in the linking or maybe in the twitter and also some of the resources website that you can follow through to uh, get more ideas yeah uh yeah i think there's a question can we make a project using this to detect when a door open and do something accordingly or in a car real camera yeah of course i think you can do that so it's either you what, what you need to do is you to check whether the coco ssd are able to detect the door okay so if not then maybe you need to use the teachable machine to train your own uh, model let's say this is a door this is a, a car then uh, when the door is open so the state of the door is open then you do something else right yeah it's, it's possible yeah definitely it's possible so it's important thing how do you make use of the machine learning model yeah okay so i will end with uh, my my favorite quote so which is get inspired and make great things happen right so hopefully you are in inspired by this session with more ideas and and looking forward to see more of the uh, great projects that you are doing yeah thank you
Yeah, Vincent. So it was a, indeed a very insightful session. Thank you so much, Vincent, for enlightening us with your knowledge. It was really good to seek all the information from you. And thanks yeah. a lot once again. Also, thanks to our very patient audience. We hope you were enlightened and will make full use of all the knowledge imparted today at the time of the hackathon. To know more about what we have in store for you this time, do not forget to join our Discord server and check our website, hackcps.tech, for the lineup of all the wonderful sessions. We are having our next workshop at 6 p.m. today on internship and placement by Arsh Goyal. So do set up your alarms for this session. Hope to see you all there. Thank you so much.